In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform a failback inside our disaster recovery solution. A failback is a process of moving the workload from the cloud back to your premises. During this process, the server being moved is unavailable. The length of the maintenance window is approximately equal to the duration of the backup and the subsequent recovery of the server. To perform a failback, we will be going to disaster recovery and servers and then to our recovery servers. Select a recovery server that is in a failover state. Click Failback. On the screen, you will see that when you click Prepare Failback, the recovery server will be powered off and backed up to the cloud storage. So here, you will click Prepare Failback. The recovery server will be stopped and backed up to the cloud storage. Wait for the backup to complete. At this time, two actions become available, cancel failback and confirm failback. If you click cancel failback, the recovery server will start and the failover will continue. Recover the server from this backup to hardware or to a virtual machine on your premises. When using bootable media, proceed as described in the Acrona Cyber Protection documentation, which is located at the following URL, which I put on the screen. Ensure that you sign into the cloud by using the account for which the server is registered and that you select the most recent backup. If the target machine is online or is a virtual machine, you can use the service console. On the backup storage tab, select the cloud storage. In Machine to Browse From, select the target physical machine or the machine running the agent if the target machine is virtual. The selected machine must be registered for the same account for which the server is registered. Find the most recent backup of the server, click Recover Entire Machine, and then set up other recovery parameters. Ensure that the recovery is completed and the recovered machine works properly. Return to the recovery server in the service console and then click Confirm Failback. The recovery server and recovery points become ready for the next failover. To create new recovery points, apply a protection plan to the new local server.